Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy and pleased to be joining you today. It is a Thursday morning. It is 9 a.m. here in Hawaii. And it is a beautiful day outside my window. Coming to you live here from Honolulu. And today I'll be talking with you about a sacred mantra, a sacred a special healing code that was revealed many, many years ago to Master Shah's spiritual father, Master Guo. And some of you may know about this code. Some of you may have heard it many years ago. Uh, many of you probably, probably are unaware of the value of it if you have heard of it. And for those of you that do not know about this sacred code, you will learn more today and you'll be given a tool that you can apply to receive some pretty significant results if you apply it. Now, I just taught this recently in my 52-week uh, ongoing Tao self-healing program. And one of the reasons I'm bringing this up is so that you understand the level of knowledge and wisdom healing tools that are shared in my ongoing 52-week uh, Tao self-healing program. This is a program where once a week you attend and there's a midweek practice and you get uh, some direct education with practices. And it's such a tremendous opportunity to be able to receive direct Master Shah wisdom uh, in an environment that's very uh, close and uh, more personalized. Like right now, I'm talking at you, but you cannot necessarily talk to me. We cannot have a conversation. When I teach uh, my students in the one on one webinars, it's a small group, 5, 10, 15 people. And so um, it's much more personalized. You can ask and go back and forth with questions and answers. But I encourage each of you to uh, go to my website, asoulhealer.com. And just scroll down the first page and you'll see the ongoing 52-week Tao healing program. The reason I say it's ongoing is because you can step in at any time and not have missed anything. It's extremely, extremely affordable. So I taught this just, uh, I don't know, about um, three or four weeks ago to my class. <clears throat> and I'm going to teach it again today to all you that are watching for the first time. Because the sacred mantra... 3396815 San San Jolu Bayawu can create huge benefits for you and for your loved ones. I have had some of my students tell me they use this to bless their family members just, just recently. One of them said their uh, mother had significant feet pain, 10 on a 10 scale, and um, then it went down to a zero after he used this sacred code. So isn't that interesting? And you'll learn why as we go through this. There's tremendous value that can be offered. Master Shah is my spiritual teacher and spiritual father. Many of you already know that. For those that are new, just tuning in um, on live stream or uh, maybe watching on a, a channel this has been posted on, uh, Master Shah is a world-renowned healer, and he is a world-renowned author. He has over 20 books, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers. And as a certified master teacher, having trained under his tutelage for almost 10 years now, uh, it is uh, truly amazing to witness the application of those self-healing instruments that he suggests, because I witness day in and day out huge wisdom and huge blessings. Uh, to all of those that pay attention and actually apply it. You can learn more about uh, this master at his website, or you can also learn more by just Googling um, his books. And go to Amazon, look up some of his books. So let's check in with who has joined us so far today. <clears throat> Welcome Dean Forbes. Welcome Lutzia. Welcome Paula Hyatt. Aloha and welcome, Cheryl, uh, Sharon Dodd, Bella Grace, welcome, Aloha Monica, and welcome Tanuja Patel, and Aloha Phyllis, welcome Christine Mara, 
and aloha and welcome LaRonda and thank you for uh, sharing with those in your immediate vicinity some of you are in India some of you are in Europe and so if you know some friends or family people that you've been talking to like hey you know you really got to catch Master Paul teaching this is a good one get, up to, get them on the phone and tell them to get on the line and tune in welcome LaRonda welcome and thank you Kristen Rojas for posting these things and helping me welcome Shalini welcome Missy Dodd uh, welcome also to Diane Victoria and Aloha Craig Beam. Welcome Yolanda. Welcome and Aloha Carol Whitney, Morgana Zito, Aloha, Namaste. <coughs> and yeah, for those that <laughs> that sometimes they find me again, they watch me once in a while and then I disappear. I have been here. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, it tells you the two days I'm doing live streams now. You might want to make a, a note of that in your time zone. My hair is doing some funny stuff today, so let me feel like I got a uh, Charlie Brown hairdo going on there. Should be better now. Okay. Welcome, Brandy. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul while Facebook is gathering more people. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, I will call forth all the beings of light and prepare us for today's wisdom teachings and blessings. So welcome Alina, welcome Brandy. Let us connect. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, all of our mother and father, Shurfus, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, Angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and we bow our heads to you. We ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence at this time. Please assist with the sharing of this wisdom, the guidance, and the blessings. Dear the soul of the sacred mantra, San San Jolubaya Wu, the soul of all the wisdom that you carry, we love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please come at this time and assist with this wisdom, this teaching, and this blessing? And we also invite the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. And we invite all souls in all universes to turn on this Source Soul Song and to chant with us. Let us chant one round to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and then we will continue. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Wo I wo shin her ling Wo I tran ran lay Wang ming rung her musher shung Shuang I ping on a she Shuang I ping on a she I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning. It is a Thursday morning, 9 a.m. here in Hawaii. It might be nighttime for you, uh, but I'm very grateful that you've taken time out of your day to spend with me and with Master Shaw's wisdom. So welcome also to Richard Amodio and Aloha Tony Te. Welcome, Elena. Welcome, Brandy Smith. Welcome, uh, Becky Fav. Welcome to everybody else whose name I may have missed. Thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking on that share button. So today we're going to be talking about a sacred mantra. 
Now, at least half of you have heard of this mantra before. Uh, but what happens as with a lot of this wisdom is it kind of gets lost. And a lot of people do not know what they are, uh, you know, they get lost in the sauce of the world and they do not apply these wisdoms very well. And so I suggest, Brandy, that you contact me uh, on private message and we can discuss this condition. Welcome, Karina. So, <clears throat> little history so that you understand the, the source of this information. Master Shah grew up uh, with very loving parents, mother and father. And at the age of five or age of six, he was at the local park and he was watching a Tai Chi master. And this Tai Chi master was being attacked by his students and he was throwing them off without physically touching them. They would come within a couple of feet of him and he would move his palms in a certain direction and they would literally fly back as if a, a hundred mile per hour gust of wind knocked them backwards. Now you can imagine you and me witnessing that. That would be hard to comprehend. Well, imagine a five-year-old. And so this is when Master Shah first came about the, the understanding of um, energy and healing energies. And so he begged of this teacher and his mother and father to allow him to train with his teacher, in which he did. He trained, uh, and by the age of nine, had graduated to a very high level on Tai Chi. He then moved on and trained under Qigong, Feng Shui, I Ching, and Kung Fu at grandmaster levels with some of the highest, most well-recognized people in all of China. One of his teachers was Master Guo. G-U-O. And if you want to learn more about Master Guo and this mantra, I recommend you watching the movie called Soul Masters. I'm sure Kristen Rojas is already searching for that link and she'll drop it in. So thank you, Kristen. It'll give you a little more backdrop on where we're going today. And so with this movie, welcome Yvonne Jacobson, welcome uh, Karina Sather, welcome also Lorraine Dolan, Od Odilia, welcome Carmen, and welcome Pai Armand. Thank you all so much for coming. Really appreciate uh, your presence. And so, Master Shah, uh, being ever interested in the healing arts and how to improve uh, himself as a person to bring healing to others, he is a actual medical doctor. He trained with, in both Chinese medicine, TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, and he trained in... Uh, American medicine. So as a doctorate in both, that's not an easy thing to accomplish. She's also a world-class acupuncturist. But just set that aside. I'll give you an idea. A grandmaster in five modalities, not one. A doctor in two modalities, and uh, acupuncturist, world-class acupuncturist. He has quite a bit of wisdom. So he ended up becoming accepted as a disciple, one of very few that Master Guo accepted. Master Guo uh, was known in China. He, would, he has seen over literally over 2 million people in his lifetime. And he would see roughly two to 400 people a day at his commissary. People would come from all over to his commissary, and he was known as the man who cured the incurables. Well, that's more you can learn on the movie. But one of the things you'll see in the background of the movie is the numbers 3396815. And the first time Master Shah heard this number was when he was accepted as a disciple. This was a very big day for him to be accepted by this teacher because this teacher is, like as indicated, a world-renowned spiritual father and healer. And so when he received this letter, it said, Always love your country. Always love your mother. And... If you need to get a hold of me, 3396815. And of course, it was in Mandarin Chinese, so it said San San Zhou Lu Bai Ya Wu, which is the numbers 3396815. So Master Shaw understandably thought it was a phone number. Well, it's not. Uh, he came to learn after attending and living at the uh, commissary, training under Master Guo for 12 years. He came to learn that this sacred code 
is a healing code. So what Master Guo would do is he would do tongue analysis, which is traditional Chinese medicine and, and acupuncture-based medicine. And then he would um, give people a, con a special combination of herbs in which they would drink it. Uh, and they would, they would live at his commissary for uh, whatever, however long it took until they either healed or they didn't. And then um, he would... Uh, uh, have them do throughout the day different practices. And thank you, Kristen, for posting the actual pronunciation. And he would have them walk and dance and do other things throughout the course of every day while chanting San San Jo Lu Bai Yao Wu. So the question becomes, how do they do that? Why do they do that? Why are they chanting the numbers? Because they're just, you know, in English, it's just 3396815. So what's, what's the big deal? It's just a phone number, right? Why are these people chanting numbers? So this is the story that Master Guo shared with Master Sha about how these numbers came. Master Guo, uh, far less of him is known than maybe should be. But let it be said and let it be known that he was a very, very, very special being who had a very, very, very close connection to Lao Tianye. Lao Tianye means old man in the sky. In the Western culture, we say God. In the Eastern culture, they say Lao Tianye, God. And Master Guo would get woken up every night. He only slept for a few hours daily since the age of nine. He actually had an enlightening experience at the age of nine, Master Guo did. And since that age of nine, he had had a wide open third eye. He could see people's bodies and do medical diagnostics, everything. Imagine that, age of nine. That's only possible if you have been a very high level being in many, 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 many lifetimes before. It's only possible under those conditions where at the age of nine you wake up and you have all these medical intuitive abilities. So in any case, he had been training with Lao Tenye for many, 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 like a decades, decades of training. Getting woken up every night and then uh, writing down what he was told to write down. <clears throat> in one evening, he was woken up. And welcome also to Shai Shai. Welcome Malagupta. And aloha, uh, Yvonne Jacobson. Thank you for joining. Welcome, Jen Christie. So one night when he was woken up, he received these numbers. San San Jolu Bai Wu. Well, he knew it wasn't haphazard. He'd been communicating with Lao Tenye for, you know, the divine for over 50 years. So he also knew that there is a way to check what this may have meant and how it could be important. And so he proceeded to walk down the hallway and woke up a daughter. He has five daughters, but he woke up one specifically because this particular daughter also was a very advanced spiritual being. He woke her up and asked her to go into meditation and ask Lao Tenye, the you know, God, uh, for a number code. And so she went into meditation. And when she came out of her meditation, she said, Baba, I received the numbers San San Jolu Bai Wu. So he knew instantly that it was an extremely important piece of information and that for him to uh, receive this in meditation and for her to receive it in meditation without him ever telling the number must mean it was quite special. And so he applied the common sense of the traditional ancient Chinese wisdoms where sound power for each area of the body is known. So if any of you have ever practiced with me or with Master Shah or any of his top teachers, you know, for example, that anything in the lower abdomen for like the lower Don Tian, the second soul house, the Kundalini area, we will chant the number nine, which has the sound power Jo, 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 Jo. We will chant this in certain uh, modulations, etc., because it vibrates the lower part of the body. Well, in traditional Chinese medicine, a number is known to vibrate certain parts of the body. 
So like the number one, yee, 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 yow, yow, yow. This is the upper part of the body, the head, okay? Every number vibrates a certain part of the body. And the chest area, san, san, san. This is the number three in Mandarin Chinese. But if you touch your chest area and you chant, san, 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 you can feel the vibration. Same thing if you touch your lower abdomen, put your palms there. Everybody do this. Put your palms on your lower abdomen and chant, do, 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 do. It's like Z-H-O-U. Do, 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 do. It vibrates the lower abdomen. So, san, san, jo, lu, ba, ya, wu is a sacred number. Why is it sacred? It was received, not by one, but by two people. This was about 50 years ago. And in the receiving of this wisdom, Master Sha immediately, or Master Guo, excuse me, immediately started applying it to bring healing to his students. And he had them chanting while they're walking around, San, San, Jo, Lu, Bai, Wu. So what does the rest of the numbers mean? Well, everybody, follow me. Touch your chest area and repeat, San, 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 San. This is three, three. What's the next number? Nine, we just talked about that. Touch your lower abdomen. Jo, 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 Jo. San San Jo, Lu, Liu, L I U, Liu. Everybody touch their rib cages, right side rib cage, left side rib cage, and, and chant Liu, 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 Liu. Now keep your hands on your ribs. What is underneath your left rib cage? What organs are underneath your left rib cage? Any idea? Liver, excuse me, not liver, uh, spleen, stomach pancreas, and part of your smart, large and small intestine. Do you think that's important? What's at the back of your rib cage? Kidneys. So the, the mantra vibrates the entire rib cage in the lower part. So you're impacting your left kidney, you're impacting your spleen, your stomach, and your uh, pancreas. What's underneath the right rib cage? Your liver. Okay, Gallbladder. What else is over there? The, um, uh, the other side of the large and small intestine and the right kidney. So San San Jo Lu 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 is the number five and it vibrates this area of the body. San San Jo Lu Ba Ba Ba. Everybody touch their belly button. Ba Ba Ba. The belly button, right behind the belly button in Master Shah's wisdom is the third energy center known as the third soul house or third chakra. It is also a sacred energy point called the Kungong, which is the life oil lamp area. It is the center of your intestinal zone and it carries a tremendous amount of importance in your overall health and well-being. So now you're vibrating the very center, center core of your body, the center through which all of the seven chakras and soul houses run through. Okay, do you think that might be a little important to vibrate that area? I think so. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Yao Yao. So remember, Yao is the upper part of the body. It's also will be pronounced Yi 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 sometimes. So everybody put their hands near their heads and say Yao Yao Yao. You can tell the vibration is much higher. It's not like Jo Jo Jo. It's like Yao Yao Yao. It's higher. Okay. And that vibrates everything in the head area. Well, welcome, Valerie. Welcome, Trina Robella. You're coming in. As I've already um, shared some precursor wisdom as to where this number code originated, this sacred code. Very important to listen to that part again. So, San San, chest, chest, right? San San, that vibrates the chest. Jo Jo vibrates the lower abdomen. Lu, Lu, Lu vibrates the rib cages and everything below the rib cages, the, the kidneys, the liver, the spleen, the stomach, the pancreas, the gallbladder, all the intestines. San San Jo Lu, Ba, touch your belly button, Ba, Ba, Ba. This vibrates everything in the center of the body, including the third soul house and the Kun Gong. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything in the upper part of the body. And then woo, woo. What is woo? Woo is the stomach. So we go back down to the center of the body, slightly to the left of the center near the belly button. Woo, woo, woo. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya. Woo, woo, woo. Now, if you trace this in your mind, and, I, and, and I'm on a cell phone, so I can't pop up pictures, but I did post the picture on my um, Facebook post calling for all those to come to my live stream today. And you can see, if you draw a line, there's a line from the uh, lungs, goes down to the lower part of the body, goes out to the rib cages, goes back to the middle of the navel, goes straight up the channel to the top of the head, and then goes back down to the middle of the body. So imagine energy in your body going That's what is happening when you chant San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. Now there's a whole nother teaching that goes along with that for opening your soul language. Today we're just talking about how you can use this to self-heal and offer healing to others. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Woke up a little late, so I'm on a little bit of sinus clearing. And so when a person chants the sacred mantra, San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Everybody repeat. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Now, if you're wondering what the spelling of it is, go look on Kristen Rojas' post. She has posted the spelling. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. So, what happens when we are doing that? The energy is going It's going dun 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 dun. And literally, it's cracking open blockage areas in your body. Literally, it is cracking open your body to receive soul light, higher light, divine light, heaven's light. It is literally clearing blockages in all of the areas indicated. Do you think you may have blockages in your lower abdomen? Who has abdominal issues, right? Who has constipation issues? Who has issues with the very low part of their torso? Uh, either, either with their sexual organs or with their um, uh, anus or with their uh, uh, low back pain? Okay, these are all lower body problems. Those are blockages at the level of soul. Those are energy and matter imbalances, okay? When energy and matter are not vibrating in relative balance, you have stagnation. You have pain. Very simple. Uh, what is, you know? The number one cause of all health problems in traditional Western medicine is inflammation. You never really see that word too much, but it's inflammation. You are inflamed. You know, any tumor, any pain, it's things that are inflamed. Well, what is inflammation? It is energy and matter that are not in relative balance. What does relative balance mean? That means energy converts to matter, matter converts to energy at a 50-50 ratio. When energy and matter are converting at a 50-50 ratio, then what happens is the life force chi that heaven and mother earth give us runs in between our matter. What is our matter? Our cells, our RNA, our DNA, our smallest matter within our cells. Life force energy is always running between them if it can, but when we have stagnation in the body, a lack of movement in the body, when we have a lack of chi flow, then obviously we are stiff, we have pain, we have tumors, we have these other blockages. Okay? So when energy and matter are in balance, we are healthy. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu vibrates these various areas of the body 
bringing back into alignment energy and matter imbalances. I'll repeat. When somebody chants San San Jolu Baya Wu, it vibrates different areas of the body and the vibrational frequency brings back into balance those areas that are imbalanced. Now, you may have to chant it many, many times to maintain and bring about the results you would like because the more uh, suffering you're experiencing, the greater the imbalance in that area. When we chant San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu, we are breaking free blockages in the lower abdomen. We are breaking free blockages in the middle part of the body, the middle jowl. Uh, which includes all the, all the major organs, intestines, and, and systems in this area. We even have the lymphatic system, which is exceedingly important to our health and well-being, right in the middle area. And then, of course, there is the chest area, right? This is where we breathe. This is where our heart is. Very important to have this area vibrated. San, 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 san. And then we vibrate blockages in the head. Who has blockages in the head? Headaches, migraines. We all have blockages upstairs. Sometimes we get too busy mentally up here. Blockages, okay? Energy and matter imbalances. What about the neck, right? Many of you have blockages in the neck. So when you start chanting this sacred mantra, you are clearing blockages in the lower abdomen, clearing blockages in the mid abdomen, clearing blockages in your chest area, clearing blockages in the neck and head area. You are moving the chi balancing the energy and matter in your body. Capiche? Understand? It's truly very simple when you break it down. So even though it's a sacred mantra, when you break it down to, oh, I'm just chanting numbers and this is why the numbers are working, then you start to understand. But if it wasn't this remember this the sacred number code was received information validated by two people that must mean that it does really matter the which numbers are first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh if it didn't matter why would it not be received that way why did two people validate it it's heavenly Okay, there's another sacred number code I've done teachings on just for balancing the left and right hemisphere of the brain. Whole nother teaching. Really good stuff. I see Jamie say good stuff. Really good stuff. Who wouldn't want to increase their children's brain power? Who wouldn't want to increase the ability to clear blockages in the mind? Then you need to get Master Shah's books. Soul Mind Body Medicine. Great book. It reveals these number codes, okay? So this is ancient, ancient wisdom. All right, <clears throat> so now that you have a really good comprehension of what San San Jo Lu Baya Wu means, its origins and its function, we're going to go ahead and use it, right? Why not test it and see what kind of benefits we get? And so what we're going to do, what you're going to do, is you're going to choose, we're going to do two different blessings. One, we're going to offer healing to our self, yourself. The second, you're going to offer a blessing, healing blessing, to someone else. One person that's a loved one that has a specific thing that you can offer that's measurable. You know, if they have cancer, you can, of course, chant for them, but it's probably not going to see much of a difference right away, and you need to go teach them this better to offer a blessing to someone that has a measurable discomfort okay and then you can check in with them afterwards so let us practice first saying the mantra over and over so that you are comfortable with it <clears throat> and for those that are phonetically challenged meaning you have difficulty pronouncing things exact and correct don't worry about it it also means that you have attachments to pronouncing things uh, exact and correct. So release your attachments. Just do the best you can. Welcome, Margaret. Welcome, Shirley Hartree. And welcome, Kathy Arnold. <clears throat> so we will do the four power technique. 
we place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. This connects the heart center to heaven. And we will call the beings of light and the sacred mantra, San Sanjolu Bayawu, and ask it to bring you healing. And then we will do the same thing and ask it to bring a loved one healing. Okay? So, close your eyes. Become fully present. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Welcome, Rohan. Dear my beloved divine creator, I love you. I deeply, deeply honor and appreciate you. Thank you for bringing this number code to humanity to serve. Thank you for blessing me and my loved ones with this special number code. I am extremely grateful. Now everything has a soul in Master Shah's teaching, so we will connect to the soul of this mantra. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of the sacred mantra, San San Jo Lu Bai Yao Wu. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. As I chant your mantra, could you please offer me a blessing for and state what you specifically want your blessing for? Try to do something measurable. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. As always, you should always do a quick forgiveness practice. So continue to repeat. Dear God, dear divine, dear all souls of humanity, please forgive me any mistakes I may have made that may have led to this suffering that I am experiencing. Please forgive me specifically for the suffering and then choose the area you just requested. If I have caused others suffering in this same way, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely apologize. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. So now we will chant this mantra slowly. Your visualization is visualizing light. It could be any colored light that you wish to visualize. Golden light, white light, rainbow light, purple light, crystal light. Visualize light in your area of request. If it's an intangible thing, then visualize light in your message center. Okay? And we will chant this sacred mantra, this sacred number code, visualizing this. Let us place our palms, if you have a specific area you have chosen, place one palm over your lower abdomen, place the other palm on the area of request. If your area of request was non-specific, place one palm on your lower abdomen, one palm over your heart center. So that's your body power. Close your eyes, visualize, let us chant together. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Slower San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. And now a little bit faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Now chant silently continue to chant along with me visualizing the light focus on the light let go of pronunciation just focus on the light 
San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 As we are chanting, continue to see the light increasing. See anything in the area dissipating and becoming smaller and smaller, less and less, brighter and brighter. San san jo lu ba ya wo, 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 san san jo lu ba ya wo. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Gently tap your area that is the area you're focused on. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Silently, San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 Say it faster and don't worry about pronouncing it. Stop. Just breathe. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu Hao 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 And so pay attention to your area of request. Give it a number. Is it improved? Is it better than before? We're now going to send a blessing to a loved one using the same process. So think of a loved one that you would like to offer a blessing to. They could be in the room, they could be someplace else, doesn't matter. And repeat after me. Dear the soul of the sacred mantra, San San Jo Lu Bai Wu. Dear my own soul, could you please offer a blessing Remember these words, as appropriate, repeat, as appropriate, repeat one more time, as appropriate to my, and then you state who you want to offer a blessing for. Whenever you offer a blessing to somebody else, you always, 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 how often? Always use the words as appropriate. 
And so now we've asked this mantra to offer a blessing as appropriate to whoever you want to send it to. And then we connect with their soul. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of, state their name. I love you with all my heart. Please open your heart and soul to receive this blessing as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> and we will visualize light going to them. Not coming from you. The light is not coming from you. Light is going to them. The mantra is opening up their blockages, clearing their blockages. And just witness that. So let us chant for them. Let us begin. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 Silently. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. See the light inside your friend, your requested person you're sending love to. See the light clearing their blockages. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 Little bit faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 Faster, letting go of the pronunciation. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. Do it silently. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu. 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 San San Jo Lu Ba
She wants some blessings also. So please share what this experience was for you. As I indicated earlier, for those that didn't hear, I taught this to, to my students in my 52-week uh, self-healing course. The reason I brought this <clears throat> to you today was to make you aware of literally, there is literally 52 weeks worth of wisdom on how to self-heal. And every week, I take apart some very specific teachings from one of Master Shah's books and we work with it. We understand the wisdom and we work with the healing process. And then you apply it during that week. And then also there's a Tuesday midweek practice. Uh, I encourage all of you, all of you, to join that course. You can join it any time. There's no, you don't miss anything if you don't join it. Uh, every week is a new piece of wisdom. And it's more condensed. It's in a webinar format. So I can talk to you. You can talk back to me. Uh, questions and answers. It's much more private and personalized. Uh, and for three months of wisdom, it's only $100. Anybody can find $30 a month, okay? Very, very affordable. So make sure you uh, register for that. And Kristen has already dropped that post in her timeline. You can go to my website, asoulhealer.com. This is the main reason I chose this today. So you grasp that you can not only do self-healing, but you can bring healing to others. And it can be as easy as just waking up. So uh, Jamie Vargas said, uh, I felt heat and healing and releasing. Wonderful. Congratulations, Jamie. Elena says, I'm breathing better. Wonderful. Congratulations, Alina. <clears throat> I want to hear from all of you. So the sacred mantra, San Sanjali Bayawu, think about this. Master Guo, known in all of China as the one who heals the incurables, that's literally what he was known for, had all of the people that came to him very, very sick chanting this throughout the course of the day. Do you think it's accidental? Do you think that it might have some value to you? Okay? So learn more. Join my courses. Pick up the book that this wisdom is in. It's called Soul Mind Body Medicine. You can find it on Amazon. Lots and lots of wonderful, wonderful tools there that can assist you. <clears throat> um, welcome, Barbara. Welcome also, Divjot. You've both come in at the very end of this teaching. I apologize. Uh, I encourage you to watch it from the beginning as I'm just about ready to wrap up. Monica says for herself, she had a deep reaction and took her to cloud one million. Uh, for her mother, she had problems with her hips, pain level of a 20, now down to a 15. Good. So it had a positive benefit for them. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> so I wish to offer my deepest gratitude to my spiritual father, Master Shah, for all the wisdom that heaven has brought through him to serve humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish to offer my gratitude to each and every one of you. I encourage you to join the self-healing program for Tao Healing. Uh, it's ongoing every week. You can join at any time. You can follow the link that Kristen posted. And I look forward to serving you. I will be back here Tuesday next week, three hours later than this live stream started. You can see the exact date, uh, times uh, at the header on my Facebook page, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light who have come, all the souls respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.